Hey guys, it's BTB back with some more narrations. Today we have um, a very interesting game between Poek and some Mogon um, Championship. So this is like a tour in which um, some of the best players make it through. It's like uh, whoever performed uh, decently well in all the tours. So yeah, this is a Mogon Championship and I think you get a ribbon for winning the entire tour, which is like pretty cool. And the uh, let me talk about a, let, let me talk about the players a little bit. We have Poik, who is like one of the best players on this site, and he was also my manager for Samogon Snake Draft, which we won. And uh, yeah, Poik holds two trophies, and his opponent is level fifty six, who is uh, who is renowned to be a very good player. Like overall, he plays like every single tier. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting game. As we see level 56 lead off with Thunderous T and uh, Poek lead off with the Coco. So this Thunderous could be uh, this Thunderous could be either Z move, Choice Scarf, or AV. Because I've seen a couple of AV Thunderous. So I uh, I built Poek's team, so I know Poek's team uh, almost completely. Uh, this is Shaka Coco. Um, and uh, Rocks Clef, um, just uh, AV Majorna, Z Move, uh, All Out Plumiling, um, Kartan, and uh, Zygarde, which is leftovers with uh, DD's Toxic, Thousand Arrows, and E Speed. So, yeah, that is pretty much Poex team. And um, looking at level 56 team, yeah, I already told uh, what the Thunderous set could be. So I think Poek's best play here is to go out into his Majorna no matter what. As he does go out into the Majorna because he didn't go he didn't want to get blown away by a sludge wave, a choice scarf sludge wave and uh Coco wouldn't be doing much to the th Thunderous anyway, so Majorna was Poek's best play always. So here I think Poek can just go for the floor cannon as I think uh uh, level 56, if he has a wall switch, can freely go for it because uh, I don't think Poik is going to go out into his um, Zygarde because Zygarde is like Zygarde just wins against uh, level 56 in play, right? That is like if he can chip the Landris with uh, Halucha and uh, get get some damage off on uh, Kartana and Halucha, I think a uh, plus one. Zygarde could sweep, so yeah. oh my, uh, so level 56 goes for the T board, um, which I really don't understand because <sighs> the floor cannon was obvious from Poek. He's uh, he was either going to floor cannon or he's going to uh, he, or he was going to ice beam. There was no way he's going to wall switch on a uh, electric absorbed thunderous. So uh, I I don't get that play because um. It, it's not even weakening. Uh, it's not even weakening the Majorna for anything because Majorna is a special wall, and uh, his attackers are his attackers are like Cartana uh, and Tyranitar. So uh, I don't get that play. I think that was a misplay by level fifty six. Uh, I think Poi can just go for a floor cannon here, but yeah. Yeah, if Floor Cannon is Poik's best play, but if Poik feels like it, he could go for the Wall Switch because there's no way level 56 is staying in, as he does go out on the Staranitar as... Okay, Poik makes a double into... Uh... Coco. Uh, yeah, yeah, it covers the Landris. Uh, which, yeah, Poik made the... Poik makes a very good play because it the Coco covers the Landris and... Uh, if And Floor Cannon would do nothing to the Landris and... Uh, um, level 56 could get up free rocks. So yeah, that was a very good play by Poek as he just wall switches because he doesn't need to even fear the Landris coming in because he can if he if uh, if level 56 goes on his Landris he can just stay in and click HP Ice uh, because EQ doesn't kill because he's Shaka Coco. So yeah, he can just wall switch here. I think he wall switches into probably the Kartana. Yeah, as he takes uh, 60 from the EQ so. Uh, if I can just fire off a Leaf Blade here, he's SD, uh, Leaf Blade, uh, All Out Plumbing, and Knock Off, I believe, yeah. I think that's the set. So, I think if Poik is free to fire off a Leaf Blade here, as level 56 is most probably going 
to go out into his uh, landris uh, on the Kartana. Yeah. That's what I think he might do. Um, as he goes under the Toxapex, which is an interesting play. And I didn't expect that, so... Okay. He goes under the Kartana. Uh, he goes... So I think I think Poi can actually SD here because I don't think uh, uh, okay he just leaf blades again yeah yeah uh, yeah okay that, that was that was a fine play by uh, both players I think um, so since he didn't go into the Landris that makes me believe that he's like an offensive variant of the uh, Landris and. Does not want to take damage and uh yeah i think he probably just wants to preserve the landers for the zygarde to ch uh to check the zygarde and uh halucha better which makes sense because otherwise his team just loses to uh the overwhelming physical attackers so th yeah that makes sense now um i think poe can just uh poe can actually switch out here into the uh okay yeah he can switch out into the Coco probably because there's no way um, level 56 is clicking leaf blade here and even if he clicks the leaf blade uh, that's a free opportunity for Halucha to set up so Coco is pretty free here as he does go out in the Coco as level 56 is just sacred so is the Coco so yeah that, that works out perfectly for, for Poek and now Poek can just click wall switch here because um, I think it knocks out the Kartana from this range yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm positive it knocks out the Kartana from this range, and even and even if it doesn't, he can just go freely into the Halucha here. So, yeah, and the level 56 is actually carrying a leftovers Kartana, which is like <laughs> pretty funny because you never see a leftovers Kartana. I, I don't know what it does actually. Um, not really sure. Probably if it's like a sub variant, it probably does something, but. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it because Z-Move and uh, Scarf Kartana are like so much better. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I could probably can freely wall switch here because uh, like I've already spoken about this before. If he goes on a Landris, then Poi can just stay in and click HP Eyes. I believe it is a Scarf Landris. Or it is a Scarf Heatran. Um, not a big fan of Scarf Heatran. Probably Scarf Lando, but... Yeah, you never know because level 56 is running like kind of crazy sets. Um, and even if level 56 goes out in the thunderous here on the wall switch, I think Poik can just um, HP eyes and knock it out. So I think Poik's play is to always wall switch here as um, level 56 can just. Um, what is level 56's best play here? <sighs> I think, yeah, I think level 56 is best play is to probably go into the uh, Tyranitar here. Um, yeah, I, if I was level 56, I would just go into the Tyranitar, and if I was Perk, I would just click a wall switch here. <sighs> um, yeah, level 56 uh, team is really interesting. I think he probably predicted a like a bulkier team from Poek because he's, he has a Kartana, which is leftovers, and probably SD. Uh, with sub and he has a banned T-Tar so yeah he probably predicted an off uh, a very bulky team from Poek as yeah Poek goes through the wall switch on the T-Tar and that's great because he can just bring back the Kartana in and now um, and now Poek can freely uh, freely click um, Leaf Blade here because I don't think uh, level 56 is going to go into this Heatran okay he goes into the Pex again okay cool so Poek clicks Leaf Blade and that does um, 44. So I think Poi can SD here, to be honest. Because I don't think he's going to go back out in the Kartana here. Like, I would have SD'd the last time, but he went out in the Kartana. So uh, that wouldn't have worked out as... What does Poi do? Okay, Poi goes for the All Out Plumbling. Okay, Poi goes for the All Out Plumbling, expecting the Kartana. But this time, level 56 makes a nice mid-ground play and goes out of the goes out into the landers instead of the Kartana. So, uh, Poek just wastes his Zemo there, but I think it's completely fine because Poek is in a much superior position and does not need to really predict much at this point because Halucha looks like it can win because it's Roost Halucha. It's, um, 
S D roost uh, acrobatics and uh, and high jump kick. So yeah, mm. I think uh, uh, yeah I think Poek should uh, Poek should look forward to getting his rocks up here as uh, if he gets his rocks up he just wins and yeah level three six gets up his own rock so I think they're going to trade rocks this turn. Um, Uh, I think level 56 should probably like U turn into Thunderous to like get the best possible usage of it. Or if he's like default on Kartana, he can go into the Kartana. Uh, or he can just go into the Heat Run. But since his leftover is uh, Landris, I'm pretty sure it is uh, a Scarf Heat Run, which I'm not a big fan of. But I think it works in certain situations. Like, I don't know. It just probably works in certain situations to like. Catch things off guard, I guess. Uh, okay, he goes into the T-Tar. Um, yeah, T-Tar is a fine play too. Um, and he can just edge and get off a lot of damage on the Clefable. As Poeg just Moonblast? Yeah, Poeg just Moonblast and knocks out the T-Tar. So yeah, that's Clef out of the way. Now I guess uh, uh, level 56 goes out of the Tran. And clicks Flash Cannon if he's Scarf. And if he's not Scarf, which would be really weird. Okay, he goes into the Kartana instead. So if he goes into the Kartana, then that actually allows the Coco in. So personally, I would not have gone out in the Kartana because now, uh, now he just now he knocks out the Clefable with uh, Kartana, but then Coco comes in and Coco can cl click Volt Switch again. So that's not a really uh, for level fifty six to be in, I guess. As um, Poek goes on his Majorna. Yeah, Majorna is actually useless because rocks are up and Thunderous can't do shit uh, to his team. So Majorna is only required for the Thunderous. So Majorna is a fine sack by Poek and a very good play actually. And yeah, now since the Kartana is at full, he, yeah, Poek can just go out here and Poek can probably kick. Click Wall Switch if it kills, and if it doesn't kill from full, he can just click T Bolt because T Bolt 100% kills the. Kartana because Kartana is a fucking paper and it's weak as shit. So yeah, as um yeah, as level forty six sacks the thunders. Okay. Uh, okay, he goes on the Heatran, uh, which confirms this is Scarf, I suppose. <sighs> because if this is not Scarf, then it's like a slow ass team. It's not even that bulky, so yeah, I, I, this sh this should be hundred percent scarf because it's leftovers landers and it's leftovers um, Cardana, <laughs> leftovers Cardana. <laughs> so yeah, well, uh, what what does Poeg do here? Poeg can guard on the Zygarde pretty freely, I suppose, because Zygarde eats up anything that the yeah he turn wants to yeah. What is the heat run go for? Flash cannon? Earth power? Okay, flash cannon. Oh, okay, that is like 33. So yeah. This uh, this Zygarde has toxic, so if Poek feels like it, he can just go, he can just click toxic on the on the incoming uh, landers, but I don't think it's really necessary. So I think Poek can just click uh, 1k arrows here, or he can probably like. Um... Yeah, what does he, what does Poek do? Yeah, Poeg just uh, makes a 1k play, which is which is a fine play because uh, it, it really doesn't matter. And now he can either 1k again or he can like toxic it. Okay, he just 1k's again, which is fine. Uh, he's just trying to weaken uh, the Landris so that the Halucha can come in and sweep, uh, uh, sweep the end, uh, sweep. Um, Level 56 entire team, so yeah, this makes complete sense. Now he goes out of the Clefable. Um, he's gonna probably sack the Clefable to go out on the Coco and uh, so that he can just uh, get up the electric ter electric terrain, and Halucha can eat up its electric seed and just sweep through level 56's team. And at this point, I don't think uh, level 56 has a counter left to Halucha. His main, uh, his main, uh, way, his main win con is to bank on the high jump kick miss. Okay, so uh, it goes under the 
Coco has he okay he yeah uh, yeah P P P Poig is just trying to sack the Coco here because uh, Landers is set up fodder for the uh, Halucha because it's uh, it's roost Halucha like I already mentioned before so yeah I think if level 56 has can properly he knows that this is not specs and he should know that this is like this is like a Z, this is like probably Z move or some other yes yeah, this is probably Zemo or Magnet so oh, no 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 oh, yeah yeah he he knows this is not Zemo for sure because the Cartana went for the all our plumeling so he should know this is not this is probably Magnet or something because Wall Switch did too little to the uh, to the band Titar so he he should know that it's not specs if he has collected right so okay so here uh, he pre he predicts probably a double into yeah he predicted a U turn into Halucha I guess uh, kind of banking on the choke which Poik is obviously not going to do because he's a fantastic player but yeah mm. I, I think Poik can continue to click uh, Thunderbolt because uh, that does not allow the heat trying to come in and is Lander and yeah he can just sack the Coco off to be honest. And yeah, Poik which Poik should just win after that. So yeah. this game is looking in favor of Poik at the moment. Because Yeah, so I think what uh, I think what uh, level fifty six is actually trying to do here is uh, waste the turns of electric terrain. So I think he's going to try to protect here and trick terrains up so that uh, Halusha does not get the electric seed up. So I think yeah, level fifty six best play here is to just protect, as Poek is going to probably I HP Ice or T Bolt again. So yeah, I think that's. That's the play both players should make here. Or uh, level 56 can uh, continue to bank on the choke and just click HP Ice again. As, okay, Poi just sacks the Coco off uh, to the HP Ice of Landers. Now I think Poi just goes out of the Halucha and sets up and wins. Because, yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, now uh, level is gonna try, try to stay in and okay he HP ices that does 41% so this can so the Halusha can easily use this damage off so yeah Poi can actually just uh, yeah Poi can, I think Poi should always roost here because HP ice crit could be really dangerous for him so he's gonna roost here I'm pretty sure uh, and yeah, and then level 56 uh, sh uh, is banking on the fact that this is not Roost. Hoping it's Drain Punch or something. So he's going to HP Ice again, I guess. Yeah, he HP Ices again. Because he didn't know the Halusha set. Now he, now since he knows it's Roost, uh, he, there's really nothing much he can do about it. And it's game over. So a boy can SD again on the HP Ice. As that does that um, 38. Now I think a uh, boy uh, can just Roost it up again. As this time, I think level 56 should click EQ, I think, because I think EQ does more than the HP Ice. <sighs> but uh, it still doesn't do enough, so I think this is. Unless uh, level 56 gets a crit, but I don't even think the crit uh, KOs from 89%. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Poik should have this game, and I think Heatron dies to a plus 4. Acrobatic, so I don't even think he needs to risk a head JK on the heat run. Um, it's character right? Yeah. So I think Poik just wins with. Uh, I mean, I, he j I think he clicks Roost here and then he follows it up with the acrobatics. So yeah, he wins either way. <laughs> yeah, the reason he should actually click Roost is because um, in case. Uh, in case level 56 like decides to sack his Kartana and then goes out of the Landris, I think he has a slight chance to live. Uh, 
Mm, yeah, yeah. I don't see a way out for ah uh, for it to be uh, for love physics to be honest. Yeah, other than a EQ crit, which he doesn't get a EQ crit. Uh, but he goes for Roost again to be as healthy as possible, and he catches him on the HPI. So this game is over. So Poi can just click uh, acrobatics four times and he wins this game. I'm pretty sure. So the only play, the only play, the, the only way uh, level 56 can probably stall out this game is uh, by sacking uh, Cartana, going Lando, then sacking uh, Pex and going Lando again, and then sacking Heatran and going Lando again. And even then, uh, Poi just SDs Roost, SDs Roost and wins. So yeah, this game is over, and I think Poi is taking this home yeah there's i don't think there's nothing uh, anything much to tell this was a really interesting game i, I think um, the main misplay by uh, that crit didn't matter i guess uh, i'm pretty sure a plus four halucha ko is a lando even if it's defensive and even if it didn't uh he could have just spammed sd and Roos. so like yeah yeah, he, uh, even the Kartana dies. Not really sure why he went out of the Kartana first. I think he should have uh, gone out of the Heatran. But I think he, he, even Heatran dies to the Acrobatics, so like... Yeah. This is like completely fine for... <sighs> Poik. I think Poik should just Acrobatics here. And... Like, yeah. And even if he like goes for the head JK to stunt, and even if he misses... Zygarde has it in the back because Zygarde is DD and he can just click DD and win. So yeah, he risked the head JK. It is still fine. I think Acrobatics killed. I think that was actually kind of a misplay, but not really because Zygarde had it anyway. So yeah, and that's game. So Poek, who we all know is a very talented player, wins again. And level 56 definitely played this game decently and i think poik uh, won this series 2-0 uh, i think ub got the ubers game which uh, poik won and yeah so this was a nice series um level 56 made a few misplays like uh, um staying in with the th thunderous turn one uh, i mean turn two which wasn't necessary because he was going to either floor cannon or ice beam and yeah, he made a few misplays in this game, which uh, if he would have avoided, it would have been a much closer game. And nonetheless, this was a this was a nice game, and yeah, both players, kudos to both players for putting up a great game, and congratulations to Poik for moving on. So yeah, I hope Poik Poik wins this entire tour. I'm hoping he does. So yeah, peace, guys. I'll catch you on the next narration. <laughs>